guys, it's Firefly Carry, and I am here to bring you our team building for Super Slayer 649, aka the uh, Saffron Shamans. Now, he's got quite a few scary mons, uh, but we're going to do our best against him this week. So, the first mon that we have is Slurpuff. Which is Kibetch. We are doing a Citrus Berry Unburden Play Rough Belly Drum Drain Punch Protect. Now, we decided to make it adamant with 248 in HP, 252 in special defense because we kind of wanted it a little bit bulky. Uh, plus, we wanted that extra punch next we have Seth our Flygon holding a choice scarf now last week with Demon uh, Dragon Tail kind of cost us the match so we decided to throw Dragon Claw on Seth our Flygon not only do we have Dragon Claw but we have Earthquake, Defog and U-Turn with 252 in attack 252 in speed and 4 in special defense jolly nature choice scarf nothing's out speeding this thing at all so now we have Anakit with a lumberry oblivious scald ice beam earthquake rest mix attacker we kind of, what we did here is we made it a relaxed nature. Give it a defense boost and HP. And then we give it 16 in special attack. So this way, the attack and special attack are the same. We gave it rest to get back its health. So, this is what we decided to do with our whiz cash this week. Uh... You know, between these three mons, I, I think we'll be we'll do okay with with Slayer. I really do. But like I said, we have to wait and see. Next up, we have Nut. Now the EVs are all over the place, and we decided to make it a neutral nature because we didn't want nothing to get lost with Jirachi this week. So we gave it an expert belt, of course Serene Grace, but we also gave it Psy Shock, Fire Punch, U-Turn, Iron Head, and we buffed its attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. Um, now that I look at it, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this, but expert belt to buff those super effective moves. And Pretty much what we have to do is we kind of have to wait and see what what little nut here can do. Hopefully this this does not turn into a mistake with this EV spread. Next up is Raw, our choice specs holding levitating Rotom Heat with a modest nature with. 248 in HP, 252 in special attack, and 8 in defense, uh, special defense. This is going to be a little monster. Like, little tiny little monster of a thing. Uh, we got overheat, obviously. Volt switch, thunderbolt, and we decided to throw dark pulse on there. Um, but... From from what I can understand, and from the things that me and Kim uh, Kim have done on Showdown, this thing wrecks lives with the choice specs. Um, I just I think it's going to be very interesting. Last but not least, we have Osiris. Who is our Mega Bayonet, which we have not brought once uh, in a CCL battle yet. 
but we're making it a careful nature with uh, 248 in HP, 252 special defense, and 8 in attack. We're giving it knockoff Willow and Destiny Bond and Protect to utilize the Prankster ability. Uh, Osiris here pretty much pretty much is going to be our lead. No, uh, I'd say he's going to be our best lead no matter what. It, he really is going to be our best lead. Um, I'm just, Slayer, Slayer is a different type of person when it comes to battles. Uh, there's not much, I mean, he's got a good draft overall. He really does. Uh, I will, uh, grab his draft real fast and let you all know what he has so oh nope okay here we go all right we have the scary med mega we have his mega is meta mega gross Yeah, honestly, I I hate that, and I'm almost 100% sure he's going to be bringing it, because he's brought it to almost every single battle, but the next mod on his draft is Thunderous, with Prankster. He likes the Thunderous. The Thunderous is scary. Uh, like I said, his whole draft is scary, but those were his OU picks. The next scary mon that he has is actually Hydragon. Yeah. He... He's just... Slayer's, uh... I, I, I don't know how to put Slayer. Next up on his draft is Slow Kink. Uh, you know, Slow King can get Regenerator, so that's another, that's a Regenerator mon. And Slayer is one of these people who like to stall if they can. Uh, his next mon is Infernape here. Infernape, I'm not too awful worried about. Um, there's ways that we can get around Infernape if he brings it, but however, this next mon is a problem. He has another regenerator. He has Tangrowth, which is annoying as all get out. Ugh. So he has two regenerators. Then we have Miloetta. Um, not too. I'm honestly not too familiar with Miloetta. I've not faced her that much in battles. Um, I mean, I've heard from other people that she is very good, but it's. It's going to be kind of a waiting game and see who he brings. Uh, we got Rhyperior here with, uh, which I don't think he's brought once. I may be mistaken. Uh, I'm not sure. I'd have to look and see if he has brought Rhyperior, but I don't think he has. Uh, but he has, rec uh, you know, Rhyperior can be a tank if wanted to be a defensive tank and that that's a scary thought right there his next little mon is hip on top and honestly I don't know why he drafted him on top um, it doesn't really fit with the rest of his team but 
he, you know, he, I think he's probably gotten sniped, and I think he got sniped a lot, and that's why he got hit on top. Uh, the next mod we got that he has drafted is Gramble. Uh, you know, Gramble can, is his fairy. And it's a, it's a, it's not a very attacking fairy, but it's not fast at all. It's one of those slow ones. So, I don't think he's brought Gramble either, to be honest. But this little, this little thing is annoying as all get out. And I'm sure that he's going to be bringing Miltank. That's why we have Drain Punch on Slurpuff. Uh, so we could handle that, uh, that mill tank. Because if we can get a belly drum up and get, get going, then that's the biggest thing right there. That's our biggest thing. Anyway, the next mon on his draft is Malamar, which, with a contrary, it, it, you know that it's, do I need to say more with Malamar? I mean, we could, we could bop it with a U-turn, but at the same time, I, I just, I don't, I got a bad feeling about the battle. Next up is the Dust Noir. Yeah, the Dust Noir. So, there's plenty of stuff that this Dust Noir can do to us. And honestly, I don't really want to deal with this thing. I really don't. I really don't want to deal with this thing. And I feel like he's not going to bring it. But, there, there was a quick rundown of his team. And again, here's our team for the CCL battle with Mr. Super Slayer 649. So, uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So I want you guys to remember to be good, stay safe, but always have fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.